What'd you think? Bad awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. You got Laura right there. Got some... Yeah, my least favorite thing. You love it. Peeing on video. Okay, you have now tried what board <laughs> setups? Tell me all about them. Oh my God. I tried a white one and a black one, a short one and a big one and a tall one. Okay, you did the, uh, <laughs> you did the five sport and you did the... Uh, is the five sport the white, white one? White is the five sport, it's five foot okay. sport. That's a, a lift two. And you try to lift three uh, pro, which is the shortest board. Which is the black one. Yes. You've tried them now both with the tall mast. You've tried them both now with the uh, 150 and the 38 stab. And you've tried them both with the um, the, 250, the the 200, right? So let's hear. So I've tried the whiteboard with the short mast and the large fins, mm -hmm. the tall mast and the short fins, the tall mast and the large fins. Uh, tall mast, good or bad? The tall mast is good. Why? Because you have more space to get out of the water and not have it worry about it breaching. Do you have more problem with it crashing down or breaching? Uh, when I had the shorter mast, I had more problems with uh, fly out. It breaching. Okay. Oh, so fly out. Yep. Got it. The smaller board is way more maneuverable. Like you can do way sharper corners. It is? Yes, for sure. Okay, any downside to the shorter board, the smaller board? Um, the, the biggest downside for me in particular with the smaller board is that like if you're a larger person, you, you might find that that smaller board is too small. Then you've tried two foil sizes, small foil size designed for carving, big foil size designed for stability. Mm -hmm. That's better. For me personally, I like the larger foil size. You had me try the small foil size on both boards. I was never able to get up with the smaller foil size on the small board. I would be curious to try that again now that I know that I can get up on the small board. But then we tried the large, foil size on both boards and that was preferred on both boards for me. I just rode the tall mast on the large board with the large foils. I did not like it. <laughs> right, you did all large things and you hated it, it. And I didn't like it. All I did every time I tried to turn, it flew way too high. It has way too much lift for me. And, and I weigh more, so I, I it didn't like it. I, I totally had complete control over its height <laughs> and it would gradually go back in and it would gradually come out. So um, if you're a buck 90 like me, you can deal with uh, 150, maybe even smaller. And if right. you're two, 240, 240, 230, you're gonna want, but <laughs> yeah. when you're buying a board, the important thing sounds like to me is get the right foil size for your body weight and ride yes. style and get as small a board as you think you can manage. Yeah, and the smaller board's nicer because I can actually carry it. It's way lighter. Did you actually carry it with it all rigged up? With the long mast, yeah. Yeah, I've, I carried it like last weekend. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. It's way lighter. It's significantly lighter. Okay, any words for those people right there? Tell them <laughs> those what should you people. buy. They... <laughs> He should buy a wakeboard boat and a wakeboard. <laughs> so tell us about your wakeboard boat. Where is it? Most, most of the time. Well, right now it's nowhere because the lift broke. So, <laughs> so how's that wakeboard boat doing for you? It seems, it seems to me like you've e-foiled a lot more because it, even though it sometimes breaks, lift can fix it by shipping you apart. And they don't, you know, you don't need to send it into a shop for three weeks and spend thousands of dollars. <laughs> was there hardly, I can't think of a repair that we put into our boat that wasn't at least a grand. Well, sure, just normal maintenance. Normal maintenance is a grand. No, normal winterization was How much like was the new 300 engine? bucks. A 
new engine's not normal maintenance. I know, but most boats need one eventually. <laughs> new engine's eight to 10. How much is a new wakeboard boat? Like a good one, 100 to 200. How much is an e-foil? 10. So you just told everyone be really, really rich. Uh-huh. I'm telling you to be like, <laughs> you know, anyone with a reasonable job can probably save up 10K. Right? <laughs> Maybe. 10 to 12. Yeah. I mean, working schlubs like us did it. <laughs> right? <laughs> working schlubs. With YouTube, you can make some money from Audible. Audible.com. <laughs> where I get most of my books. I'll tell you something. I actually am really retarded. I'm just, just an idiot. But I sound smart because I read a lot of books at Audible. Audible.com. I drink it because it doesn't hurt my tum-tum. <laughs>